Good morning. Let us study today laws of crystallography. What are the different laws of crystallography? Crystallography is based on three fundamental laws. The first law is law of constancy of interfacial angles. The second law is law of rational indices. The third law is of constancy of symmetry. Let us study one by one. Let us first study the law of constancy of interfacial angles. This is one for x. Let us consider a crystal, hexagonal crystal. This is one phase, this is another phase, adjacent phase. The angle between the two adjacent phases is called interfacial angle of the crystal of a particular complex. Okay. According to this law, for a particular crystalline substance or crystals of particular substance, the interfacial angle is always constant for crystals of the same substance. Depending upon the conditions of crystallization, for example, it can be crystallized slowly at low temperature or it can be crystallized very fast. So, depending upon the conditions of crystallization, different shapes and different sizes of the crystals of the same substance are depending upon the conditions of crystallization. Depending upon the medium of crystallization, the size and shape will vary. For example, this is a hexagonal crystal system of same substance. In spite of different shapes, sizes, mode of crystallization, the interfacial angle is same. For example, uh, this is uh, if the crystals are microcrystalline are microcrystalline if it is crystallized very fast. If it is crystallized slowly, then the crystal size will be different, shape will be different, but the interfacial angle remains constant. This law is also known as Stenos law. Stenos law. It is called law of rational indices. Law of rational indices. Okay, let us consider a plane. Let us consider a plane in a crystal. Let us consider a plane in a crystal. L M N. Okay. The plane, the plane L M N makes intercept 2A. This is unit intercept A. Therefore, this plane makes intercept 2A along its axis. The plane LMN makes intercept 1, 2, 3, 4, 4B, 4B along Y axis. The plane makes intercept along Z axis. That is 1C, 2C, 3C. Okay. The plane intercepts 2A, 4B, 3C along X axis, along the 3 crystallographic axis, X, Y, Z. Okay. Now, this, according to this law, the intercepts of any plane or phase of a crystal along the crystallographic axis are either equal to unit intercept. For example, you, you can have a plane like this, you can draw like this. Okay. So, it makes the plane makes unit intercepts along A, B, C. So, the intercepts of any plane of a crystal along the crystallographic axis are either equal to unit intercept or some whole number multiples of A, B, C. Some, for example, 2A, whole number multiple 2A, N, A, N prime B, N double prime B. Simple whole number multiples of A, B, C. The simple whole numbers n, n prime and n double prime are called base indices. For example, 
L M N plane for N M N plane two comma two comma four comma three are called the base impedances of this particular. Let us study the third law of constancy of symmetry. According to this law, all the crystals of the same substance, for example, sodium chloride crystal. you have different crystals of the same substance you have sodium chloride crystal another crystal another crystal all the crystals of the same substance have the same elements of symmetry for example sodium chloride cubic crystal they have the same elements of 23 elements of symmetry okay that is plane of symmetry axis of symmetry center of symmetry thank you for watching